Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela and if you are new here, welcome. I enjoy doing a lot of different things, but uh, primarily I like doing any kind of paper crafting, any kind of upcycling and DIYs and thrifting for vintage treasures. And today is Template Tuesday. Anyone can participate. So if you have a template that you wanna share with all of us, go for it. But the purpose is to share some of the templates that I have in my, uh, now I'm up to, I think I just started my fourth three inch binder. So I got a lot of templates. Plus I have all the ones that I found on my little uh, thrifting excursion that we're going to play with throughout the year too. So I have a lot. And today I was actually inspired by a video I saw. I believe it was the graphics fairy, possibly. I think so. And they were doing a waterfall template. He was doing a waterfall template. So I grabbed out my waterfall templates that I had, which is this one. And then I have this one, which is just a flap. They're just flaps. And then I created <clears throat> the one that he did because all of these require a lot of scoring and whatnot. So these we can actually do. And that's what I liked about um, his was you can make these without having to score things. And here's another one of my templates, which isn't really. I left this long because I wanted to keep the directions on there. And these are just out of pieces from a magazine. And then this is my other template. And here's another sample I just popped on a tag. And I just put a couple down just so I could have some templates. But that we're going to make one of these. I'm going to show you how it's done. And then I had an idea. And ultimately what we are going to do is make a paper bag waterfall piece mini journal, mini ephemera pack. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of images. And for our sample today, I had these from my digitals. Uh, these are something that are in my personal collection. I haven't done anything with them on, on Etsy, but we have five and I've already but they're already backed so we need to pick out which ones we want well, I definitely want the tulips so tulips we'll go with this one how many do we want to do should we do an un I've got six should we try to do all six? let's just do it we'll just try to do all six so we've got six images now these are all the same size or they're supposed to be. They're sort of ish, the same size. We'll see how many we can get on there um, and still make it work. So I'm going to put those up here for now. We're going to need a base. So I didn't really think about that. I have one piece of paper, but I think it might be a little too bright. But we could use this if we wanted to, just so we can see it happen. Otherwise, I'll, I'll look through my stuff and see what we can find. And then for this one, I'm going to do it just like this with a book page. So you'll need some book pages and you'll need your basics, your glue. We also have that tag that it might fit on. So we'll see. Um, and I've got some scrap here, but we're just going to take out this one sheet. This particular sheet is kind of big. And so, like I said, you need your normal suspects, your glue, Maybe your scissors, a pencil or a pen, a ruler. Uh, this piece is, a ruler is going to be important. Just under 11 by eight and a half. So here's what we need to do. We need to figure out how, now this isn't very heavy paper. So we need to figure out how we want this to lay on our page. So I kind of want it to have a little bit of a border. So it probably won't work on that. So I'll just set that up there. So what I'm going to do is 
I'll flip this over. Jeez Louise. And I'm just going to eyeball it for the first one. I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to kind of keep this on. Is this even? Okay. And then there's where that ended. So let's just go right here at this seven. Is that, that's why I'm having a hard time seeing. You guys can probably see better than I. There we go. Okay. Now I've just folded this together like this just to give it a little more heft, if you will. So let's just make sure, yep, that's still going to work. Leave it as long as your paper is for now. Don't even worry about that. But what we do need to decide, I think I want the bottom cut off. And I'm just going to go, I'm just going to cut it off with my scissors. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this all together. So for this, I'm going to glue for now, because we'll probably have to, part of this is going to get cut off, and I'll explain that in a minute. So we're going to do that, just so it keeps it closed. And then let's use our glue stick. Oh, I forgot to put my, I'll do that in a second. Hang on. I've been trying really hard not to make a mess of my because this is just my small one. It's only 12 by 12, but it works here. I had my large one is a, a sewing mat and it's too big in my space. So that's why I don't use it. All right, so let's turn this over. This is going to be the front of our flip flap, flippity flap. Now we have to decide that this one's going to be whichever we put, whichever one we put here is the bottom. So we need to decide which one we want on the top. I think I want this one at the top. Okay, so let's do this one on the bottom, this one, this one, no. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't know if all six of them will fit on here and still be, because we're going to eventually fold this over, but we're going to try it, okay? So all I'm going to do is put my bottom one where I want it. I'm just going to flip those upside down. And then I'm going to measure. I'm just going to use, let's see. I want to actually be able to save this one, so I don't want to... I don't want to make it too dark, but I need, okay, we'll just use my pen. And so it's right there. Now I'm just going to flip it this way so we can see. And I'm going to use my centimeter side because it's easy that way. And we're just going to measure six centimeters marking at each centimeter so one two three well, that's four one two three four five six this is for the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one so one centimeter for every piece that you're using okay now what we have to do and this is where this is the no scoring part of it it's easier if we just do it probably sideways, okay? All right, so all we're doing, I'm just lining this up, as you can see, even with that line there, and I'm just folding it over and giving it a good crease with my fingers. I loved this because I was like, oh, I don't have to get out my scoreboard. Same here. And you're just going to keep folding on each one of those lines all the way until you get till six. Now, are my lines exactly even? I don't know. But they don't have to be perfect, perfect, I promise. Ooh, see, this might be too... We'll see here. Let's just see what happens. 
Six might be too much. Too many. Yep, it is. Okay, let's do... Let's just do four. And so we're just going to fold right here. And what I mean by that is I want this to... One, two, three. Oh, well, that's four. Yeah. I know that's really hard for you guys to see. Okay, so at the top one, where the top one will be, that's where we're going to fold it over. And you'll have a little left over here. Not to, not to fret. But now I can't see my lines very well. So I'm going to, you know what, for you guys, I'm going to do this. And then that will help. I think I can still do it without. Okay. So now we have, we have four. This top one is the one that I folded over. So let's just leave it folded over for the moment. All right, now we got to decide. And I think we'll just go top one, two, three. So this one will be our bottom one. We're not even going to use the tulips this time. All right, so let's see, where does that fold? And I wanna just glue this just about where that folds. Okay, and I am using my art glitter glue. It's quick. It stays down and you don't need very much. Still okay, yep. Now, I don't know why I just had a brain lapse here. Yeah, I'm fine. However, Now I'm just going to glue it right here. So I'm doing this one. I'm gonna to try to line those up even with each other. Three, look at that, no. Scoring, hallelujah. Whoa. And number four, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I am doing good. I'm, bit, I'm doing this video on Friday. And, okay, there we go. So now it's all together again. All right, so we've got everything together. But now we've got to make some apparatus in order for this to pull and slide, right? like this one. So what we need is a piece of paper and it's really just gonna go, we're gonna glue this. It's gonna go, it's gonna be wrapped around here to itself in the back. Okay, let's first of all, let's just fold this a little more evenly. So you're not gluing it to the back of your, of your um, base that we've got here. You're gluing it to itself. So it's kind of, all we're doing here is just making it, doubling it up so it's a little more substantial. Don't worry again about this for the, for right now. Okay. And we're just going to flip this over, wrap it here. I did mine a little bit different than he did, but it's fine. You do it however it works for you. Just know that you do not want to glue this entire piece to the back of this, okay? So we're just going to make sure it's on there. Okay, it is. But now we have to glue. Oh, I did this I should have done the flap first. That's okay. Now we do need to glue this, the back of this, to this. I didn't do it wrong. 
I put, I should not have put my, um, pieces on until I did this. And I'm just gluing that right here. So what will happen is this will it will flip like this when we're all done, okay? So now we'll let that kind of dry and let's just go ahead. We're going to cut this off so it's even. And then we need something to be able to pull that back part because the back part's the only part that's going to be moving, right? I can't do it while I'm... So now what we're going to do is pull this up a little bit. Like I said, I should probably not have... put on my pretties before I did this, but gosh, I only did, how many did I do? Three of them beforehand. Let's see what happens is I start talking. All right. And I had this piece from before that. So, okay, let me do, I know that might be confusing. This is the front. This is the back. And we're gluing it to the bottom right here. Okay. 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 Are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing fine. So I'm just putting a little fabric tack and then I'm going to get out my med tape just for a little added oomph to keep it intact. Here, let me, I got to. Hang on, sleepy. I'm just going to put that there. Remember, no one's going to see this, right? Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to tuck this back in here. And let's pretend that this is on the back of a page. And it just lifts up like that. But we need to put it on something so that we can really see it work. Let's see what this paper looks like that I just had extra. It's a little, well, maybe this one won't be so bad. And that's not horrible, I guess. So we want to glue this on here. Now, the problem is, not a problem. <laughs> We're going to cut this about right here. I want to leave a little bit of the top because maybe I'll use it as a tag. Who knows? So let's just use our... ruler to cut that off. And now we're going to glue this down. But we're only gluing this back piece, just this piece, to here. Does that make sense? Oh, let's see what it looks like when it's sitting here and it's moving. I'm just going to keep my fingers on it here. Maybe. Come on. Oh, it's See, you'll be able to see those. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to use it anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's fine about right there. Okay. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Give it a nice little... And let's get this straight for you guys. Ah, and then it moved. Okay. And I'm just holding that down for a second. 19 minutes. We just made one of these. That was easy peasy. While we're waiting, let's just give it a, well, let's make it into a tag. For that glue to dry. Come Oh, There we go. So I have a sale to get rid of, rid of <laughs> ready for. Uh, I thank you for everybody that came to the live sale last night, which would have been uh, last Thursday, because you're seeing this on Tuesday. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, you indulged me and let me try to do a 
buyer's choice, which was which was fun. It was lots of small items. So next week I will, or this Thursday I will be back with um, a more large ephemera books and such. Okay, that looks cute. Well, I think we need to use probably a piece of this. Do I have any more of it? Where did I find that? Oh, right here. I just had a little piece that was hanging off there. So I might as well finish this and make it pretty. The next one, I think it's going to be fun. And if it turns out, it's going to be really cool. If it doesn't, well, we chalk it up to we tried something. So we won't, we'll call this part an, a tutorial. We'll call the next part an experiment. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ta-da! And we got writing space on there. It just tucks back. Okay. Fini. We did it. We did it. Okay, let's do, uh, let's try playing with this bag, these bags. So here's what happened. I don't think I need any of this stuff. So I was looking for, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I was looking for some more, I thought, well, let, instead of images, let's just try it with, you know, digital or craft paper or whatever. And while I was looking, I picked out these papers. And then while I was looking, I found these. They're tops of bags that were cut off. And I thought, well, why not play with them and see what we can do? So these are five and a quarter by four inches. So what I did is I thought, well, let's just do one piece that is, um, let me flip this. I got it flipped wrong. That is 12 inches, so a regular standard piece of scrapbook paper. And this is by six inches, okay? Because I think I'm going to use this in my tea time journal, if it turns out. <laughs> if it doesn't, well, that's another story. But I thought, well, let's just leave it 12 inches for now because this is what it's eventually going to be. Um, this will be adhered to the book page, I think. I think, I think. And I'm hoping that when we fold this over, we'll be okay. All right, so now what we need to do is a couple of things. So I've got these already cut out that will fit on this page. My thought is we will glue. So these are just like this right now. So let's first just glue these shut so it's now a new bag. Will that work? I think so. Like I said, I just found these and I was like, oh, that will be fun. Now, let's see. If it works, it will be fun. Yeah, but I just need to make sure I get everything glued. I get everything glued here. Because once we glue it, there's no return. I mean, once we put it onto the page, we can't go back and glue it. All right, so let's just see. If I'm going to flip this up, is it still going to open? I mean, sure it is. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do the same for this. So what we need to remember when we're gluing these is that we need to do both sides. So we need to glue here all the way across. And then here and here to close those up, okay? Let's just make sure Angela did it. And let's just triple check. Okay, it's gluing, so, or it's drying. All right, so we got two more. So I'm just going to open it up. Let's get this to come out a little bit better because I seem to be missing a spot every time I do it. Okay. 
or just be more patient than I am and wait until it kind of glues to itself. All right. I think it's looking good. All right, last one. So yeah, like I said, these were just tops off the bags and I had saved them because I was going to use them in my cookbook journal, but I didn't know what for. I was just like, well, these could be something and I'm not going to throw them away. And I love the feel of, you know, paper bags in a journal. Okay, so basically, this with the notch is going to be the front, although the notch is really going to go away. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and put these papers on. Now, we don't want this one to be our first one, and I'm only doing the fronts of these pages. So, let's say we need four. So, there's one. We got to decide which one we want at the top. Two. I think we want that one at the top. Two. Three. What else do we got here? Four. All right, we've got our four. Top, second. I should have done it the other way. Okay, but that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and move this. Get my little piece out. And we'll just do these one at a time. I'm going to give the, this a little bit of glue stick. These are, again, our five and a quarter by four. And our big uh, sheet was just 12 by six for now. <laughs> All right, we want to make sure that this is going to stay adhered. I am not going to be doing notches unless we have to because I... I don't know. I think I have a solution. Uh, well, this one is not the right size. That's okay. I don't know how that happened. I did measure it, but that's fine. I suppose all paper bags are not created equal. All right. So the premise is it will flip up and this will open. Okay, so we got one down. Well, let's just see before I put this one on. See, it's like the front and the back are not the same size. Yeah, weird. But we'll just measure, we'll just put it up to this. See how that's, that's where the crease is, the gusset? So we'll just make sure we get it on there on one side and then we can trim it up on the other. Oh gosh. <laughs> I almost forgot which one we... And I'm just making sure it absolutely lines up on that side. Like, it's not even even. I've had this happen a lot of times with paper bags, though, because they aren't, you know. I'm sure it's kind of fragile paper, so it probably shifts when they're making them and mass-producing them. See, look how uneven this one is. Like, it's way uneven. It's fine. Everything's fine. It might look silly when we put it down on this piece of paper, but I think this will be a fun ephemera folder, and I don't know. Maybe you've already seen these or done these yourself. I have not, so I thought it would be a new little project. Of course, you know I'm going to look again. One, two... I'm going to go with this one. 
All right, now I got to get this right up to that part. I really hope this works because it's kind of fun. Whoa, this is whack a do. I don't even know if I should mess with. No, I'll cut it off that little piece. I think it might look funny though, but ah, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for now. I just I feel like if I cut that off, it's gonna be look how uneven these all are. That's okay. We can't help it if it's imperfect. No one's perfect. These bags are just a little jankety. Oh, I didn't do my shout outs. Um, so shout out to uh, Lovely's Crafting Lodge. I love that name. To Woolamina. Thank you, Sandy, too, for being at the sale and for your purchases. That was so much fun to have you. I love it when we get new people that um, come and experience the live sale adventures. And we're going to be doing it on the regular, so make sure you tell all your friends. The more, the merrier. And the more fun it is for all of you guys to bid. Oh my goodness, that one's way off. <laughs> I mean, there's not anything you can do about the bag, really. Now, I am not going to punch notch notches in there because you probably know we need to have some way for this to... I did the wrong side. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter. No, I didn't. Flip up. Okay, let's put these aside for... Well, no, we need to decide where these are going to fall. All right, so we need to put some dots on here. And now this one will show, so I've got to be real careful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that aside. I'm going to pull this up a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm going to mark just little dots this time so that, and how many do I have? I have four. So we're just going to go one, and then at one end, one centimeter, two, and three. So I have four centimeters, okay? Now I'm going to take this. This is where, you know what I might do on this one though? I mean, I know I said no scoring. This is... And you don't need to. If you're using the book page like I did, you're good to go. But this is huh, um, cardstock. Where is my scoring tool? Oh, no, I'm dropping things. Here it is. I put it back where it belongs. I just couldn't see it. Oh, my goodness. I got the dropsies. I am going to score this along here. This is just my little scoring tool. It's got the little nubbies on the end. And I'm just moving that just to keep it kind of even. But if you don't have a scoring tool, not to fret. Just don't use one. Just fold it. And I'll show you because I'll do it for you. All right, so basically now I'm just going to fold it right over there. Go to that one. I can't see it though. Just like we did the last one, right? Okay. Now we're going to start putting these down. Oh, I lost. I'm like, what in the heck? So the next important step for us to do 
is to make sure that they're all the right way. <laughs> So they need to be upside down. This one's upside down. That one's upside down. That one's upside down. Whew. Okay. So now we're just going to put this kind of where we want it. We're going to glue. I'm hoping this will hold. I don't see why it wouldn't. And I got to stand up again. And I really didn't leave much at the bottom on here. Okay. Um, this one's next. And I'll tell you what we're, what we're going to experiment with the closure on this. But I want to give you some alternatives that I know will work. I just chose to find something that is a little obscure. And I'm, I'm sh pretty sure... Most of you, I did it again. Hang on. We're going to wrap this around here now because remember last time we, well, no, because I got to fold it in half. It's fine. We'll just leave it like that. We'll just keep going. It just makes it a little harder. But the thing, the reason that I didn't last time is because I wanted to make sure that when I folded it over, I had enough room, which this one will have plenty of room. Look how much room we'll have. So we're fine right there. And again, this is not going to be perfectly even because the bags are not even. But it certainly looks cute right now. I'm loving it. I love it when you can take it, you know, and I like, I enjoy a lot. We won't get time to um, embell or make this pretty, decorate it, but. Okay, see how uneven these all are? But. It's a paper bag. There's nothing we can do about it. So now what needs to happen, just like on this one, remember, this is probably, this whole thing is going to go on a page, right? So this band, this piece, needs to wrap around the back and all the way around to the back of here. That's And that's just kind of why I'm not cutting this off yet, because I want to make sure it looks right. So I am getting that done. And it does need to be glued to here, but for me, it's easier to glue it to the back or glue it to itself and then go in with my art glitter glue and do it that way. But you just do whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm going to flip her over. Now, this was a strip from the 12 by 12 pack of paper. It obviously was not long enough to go all the way around. So I just took a little scrap piece that I had and I added it to the end of one side of my one inch, this is just a one inch strip scrap so that I could make sure it went all the way around, okay? Now it has to go, it has to be glued. So how can I do this so you can see it? I'm just gonna put my index finger right there so you can kind of open. I can open it up. And all I'm doing is, well, there we go. Kind of opening that up. And I can see that, that, I know you can't see this, but the glue is adhering to the front. And now I got to do this because we're, we don't know where this is going to go in the book. So can I do it? You know, this paper is a little bit. 
Oh, it would be cute on the side, too. That's even better. And that will work because what I was going to tell you is that when you, when we do this, we don't want it, all the stuff to fall out. So if we put it on its side, problemo solved. Now we need to cut this off. So I am just going to, I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer than the bottom. And then we need to put something pretty there. So what a, we got this. This is we could just do this all the way. It might not be sturdy enough. see. I kind of want to do this. <laughs> Why not? Now we're going to use Fabri-Tac for this. I'm going to do something to make sure it doesn't, you know, because see how it's kind of angled there or it's gathered, I should say. And so it doesn't lay flat. Oh, I forgot to give you a Ruby alert. <laughs> yes, Ruby is here. At the moment, the kids are both home. Dave is not here. He's working at the venue. And as long as, I mean, we've made it 40 minutes without her bothering her mama. I'm going to double this up. She is currently laying on that bean bag, taking a snooze. So I'm sure when I'm done here, she'll be ready for some attention. Oh my goodness. I'm ripping it. My fingers are all stuck together. Okay. Hang on. I gotta get this off my finger. <laughs> All right, does it work? Does it work? Oh my gosh. I'm doubling up. Doubling down, doubling up, whatever. Ah. Went a little too far over. Gosh, this is so cute. Let, well, let's see. You know what? Let's just but let's bust out. I haven't decorated this yet, but we can put it in that journal. Let me grab it. It's right here. Let's see where it's going to work. Now, here's what I'm going to do for the... We're going to put it sideways. So we can find a place for it. Let me zoom you out here. So it's going to need to be on a right-sided page. Look at I've got all my templates ready to go. I've been itching to get... Working on this again. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a possibility. Nope. I think that's going to be it. The rest of them aren't done. Let's put it there. Okay, but before we put it here, and I think we should have it go like this, so let's just pretend that this is 
See, I can't do it when it's not adhered to the page. But let's do these tabs. So my thought was this. Come on. Should I just put it down? Let's just put it down and we'll do it. But when I do that, I want to make sure that it's... Something stuck there. All right, we're just gonna put it down and then I'll figure out my, <coughs> my tabs because I had an idea. Now that I'm doing it sideways though, they might not work, but I'll show you at least what I had planned. And I was trying to use things, I've been really trying hard to use things in my stash. Oh gosh, I kinda already got it on there. Hmm. I hope I didn't mess it here. I'm going to do this because I'm afraid I lifted it up and I'm afraid that I messed it up. Because if it gets glued to this part, then it won't work. We don't want that. Okay. I don't want this seal to go away, so that's why I'm kind of trying to keep it. Okay, and we're only gluing that down. So we need to make sure it's really... Okay, there we go. See how it's opening so prettily? Ta -da. I need to make sure that that's really nice and bent, which it needs to be. Sometimes you got to get it a give it a little love, and then you just push it back up. Make sure they all are doing their thing. Okay, so my thought was with these, I have these pieces and parts that go on planners. I got these. These were from. Uh, I got them at a yard sale from a gal who went dumpster diving for them. And a gal was throwing away. So my thought was, just glue the hello on here. And then it's just a flap you can open up. But I don't really like that hello on there. So let's do this one. Now, I am probably going to sell this journal. So let's just hope that this turns out because it's already on there and I don't want to have to take the page out. I mean, I could. But I think somebody needs to have this in their life. So we're just going to glue. And I did, what I did do on these is I did score. Let me see if you can see. This notes one didn't turn out very well. Uh-oh. Oh, it's because I... You can see my light there. Sorry. Here, let me get you back here. Can you see that? I just scored it a little bit. So my thought was... I don't know. They're kind of plasticky. And this might need... This, our glitter glue might not cut it. And we might have to use Fabri-Tac. We're gonna try it one more time. And if it doesn't, then we can just use some tabs. But what I was going to say, you could use snaps. Snaps would be cute on it. You could use Velcro. You could use just a basic, like a regular tab. Like, um, oh, a whale tail or just, you know, make your own tabs to go over the top. You could just use, um, and then you could do like a tuck so it tucks. But I thought this would be 
strong enough, it just doesn't want to do it. I think I'm going to not do that because oh, I was really bummed. Shoot, I'm trying to use these things up. Well, we're going to keep them out because we're going to use them for something. Okay, let's get this off of here. The fact is, now that it's sideways, we don't have to add anything. But I thought it would be fun. You get the gist. And I'll wait till that dries and I'll put something on it. And so I think what I'll probably just do is do just a regular tab. Or I can punch it. And now I've got all these. Or we could use do covered paper clips. Possibilities are endless, but we'll make this put this on our agenda to finish when we get back to this. And you know, like I said, I just don't think that's gonna cut it because it won't go. It just this one, it's kind of plastic, and so it doesn't want to bend. So, hey, great idea, Ange, but that wasn't that's not gonna work. So, we'll think of something else to do, and we will do that together. But what fun. We've got a couple little tags under our belts, and they're really relatively easy. So I hope to, hope you enjoy Template Tuesday this week, and I will see you soon on our next adventure. But until then, remember, as always, take time to just be, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.